This is one of a series of short films about some of the historic and prehistoric sites in South Wales. These are some of the more interesting, but not always well-known sites. This is probably the site of the oldest college in Britain. It was founded around the year 500 AD, about 600 years before Oxford University, making it one of the oldest places of learning in the Western world. Sadly, that college hasn't survived, and its exact position is lost. Research suggests that the most likely place for that college was here. The town is known in Welsh as Snilstid Vaur, or the Greater Parish of Iltid. But we are here in the town of Lantwit Major in South Wales to get a glimpse into the past and present of this very old Christian site. If you do pay a visit here, please respect the site and the people who come here. This is the Church of St Iltid. Iltid was one of the earliest and most important Celtic Christian saints. He possibly came from here in Wales or perhaps from Brittany in northwest France. He established a church at this spot in around 500 AD, which means this has been a site of continuous Christian worship for over 1500 years. Iltid was hugely influential. One of his students was St Gildas from Strathclyde in Scotland. Gildas was a famous early historian and, amongst others, he helped to bring Christianity to Brittany in the 6th century. Then another student of Iltid, St Samson, helped to bring Christianity to Ireland and then to Cornwall, where he is credited with creating the first Celtic Christian cross. He then founded an early monastery in Brittany. If these are Ilted's students, what must Ilted have been like? He was described as the illustrious master of the Britons, the most accomplished in all the scriptures, philosophy, geometry, rhetoric, grammar and arithmetic. But in 500 AD, construction techniques were primitive. Ilted's church and college would most likely have been made of timber, or sticks, mud and clay, known as wattle and daub. Archaeological research here has found strong evidence of a later medieval grange, an outlying farm belonging to a monastery. But we have only the tiniest and most tantalising evidence of a possible earlier medieval Christian settlement here. As for Ilted, his legacy is far more than a church in Lantwit Major and 17 churches across Wales named after him. He had a unique and fundamental role in inspiring and teaching many of the earliest Celtic saints within Wales and beyond. To some extent, the legacy of Ilted and his college is the church in Wales. <laughs>